but you know, one, one question I guess I have, and this is you know, somewhat related, but a totally different example. Earlier in the day, we uh, talked about DCP and, and digital theatrical delivery for Upstream Color and Detropia, which were two movies we worked on, but neither of those were traditional day and date movies. Upstream Color premiered on cable and iTunes one month after it premiered theatrically. Um, you know, but most filmmakers, you know, should be aware that there's often a lot of holdbacks that, that uh, movie houses will have to demand that movies are not up on iTunes or cable or another digital on-demand outlet at the same time they're in theaters, which I think stinks. But, you know, how did you guys in working with Variants get, you know, get around that? You know, they really managed that process. But, you know, there's companies like Tug where, you know, fans can just request to screen a movie and you once you reach enough people where it breaks even, great, the movie goes there and it screens. You, know, you just can't be afraid to ask for what you want. You know, people are always going to tell you no. They're going to say, oh, you can't do it that way. You have to window it out and do it in the traditional way, and you're leaving money on the table, and it's a huge mistake, and you're going to ruin your lives, and the sky is falling. <laughs> but at the end of the day, you know what makes your movie good. You know where your audience, or hopefully you're going to know where they are, so you just have to have a little bit of confidence to say, well, no, I think this is the right decision. This is the distribution plan we want, and go out and build it if it doesn't exist. If somebody doesn't offer that, well, you know, a la carte menu, put it together. You know, all the parts are out there. They're all available. It's the same way records are happening now. I mean, you know, if you're an independent band and you put out a record, you know, there are services out there, you know, like, before, you know, in, in 1985, if your band got a record deal, they put you in the studio and they, you know, pay for your, your, advance you the money for the record and then they would, you know, distribute it and they would promote it and they would do all these things. Well, there's services now where you could literally go by each one of those elements knowing like, well, this is where our, we're strongest, you know, this is where the part of the country where, where we know will appeal to whoever. Let's spend our money there. Like John said, you just have to be smart with how you spend your money because everything is available to you. Right, and you know, I know a lot of you filmmakers are probably scratching your heads. Well, damn it, they've got Dave Grohl. They probably had more resources that can fund you know, the hiring of, of theatrical bookers and, and marketers that can hire you know, publicity firms. And um, you know, yet at Sundance, the average Sundance filmmaker right now their average Kickstarter campaign that we facilitate is $54,000. You can do a hell of a lot of theatrical distribution for, you know, for that much money. Um, so, you know, I guess for you guys, you know, these types of things are accessible. People like Variance, people like Gravitas, trust me, those folks are sitting by their phones waiting for you to call, busy as they are. You know, they are open for business and they are for hire and they want to work on you know, movies where they have good and direct relationships, you know, with their filmmakers, because that's ultimately going to be their biggest, uh, you know, most prominent uh, marketing advocate. 